Hi, Uncle Thor here. We're going to talk today about the Yerun and uh, an interesting outworking of the principle. <clears throat> One of the things about the Yerun is that it very, uh, well, it is the year, literally, but it very much alludes to the agricultural year, the dormant winter, the, the planting, the starting, the seeding in spring, the birth of uh, piglets and chickens, a new, new life in spring, the maturing and growing of the crops of these uh, of the new livestock and finally in autumn harvesting the harvesting of the crops and of course the harvesting of the animals um, I remember myself in uh, up the country many many years ago where in spring they would get the piglets and of course there would be the little baby chicks and while many of the hens were kept for laying eggs and weren't touched at the end of the year some would be would be killed and of course the pigs would be slaughtered and that was meat for the winter on into the coming year uh, my grandfather kept pigs and chickens after he retired and uh, smelly animals <laughs> i don't like pigs and chickens but <clears throat> that's a very literal interpretation of the air room Another aspect of it is anything that takes time to become valuable. And we see this, say, in an investment. <clears throat> we make an investment, then in time, dividends come and we harvest them. We get the benefits of it. We also see it in what's known as aging or maturing. And uh, I remember <laughs> there was a commercial many years ago where they said, we'll serve no wine before it's time which means that the wine has to mature a certain amount of time. And um, it could be several months, it could be a year or more, depending on the wine and what they call the vintage. I was never a real wine drinker, so I don't know all the particulars there. Um, back in the bad old days, I was a whiskey drinker, and I certainly knew about aged whiskey and how whiskey had to be aged for a certain amount of time to give it its its flavor to give it its kick to make it to make it more palatable I remember like one of the big things was 12 year old scotch scotch that aged for 12 years was more valuable than scotch that aged for two or three if you were a scotch drinker uh, I preferred bourbon and Irish whiskey back in those days but it, it was the idea of aging not just fermenting even though fermentation itself is very much a year type of prog process where we take this material put in yeast or something similar and through this it ferments and it becomes well alcohol you know that's why people drink it it's the alcohol they get a buzz they get it they get high off it you know let's face it people say oh no i just drink socially yeah you're still getting a little feeling off that stuff jack we're on to you you know but again, aging, uh, you see it with steaks and certain foods have to age. Uh, what they call seasoning is an aging process. The idea of smoking is also an aging process. It has to be smoked for a certain amount of time. So the process of aging and maturing is a year activity. I remember a few years ago, um, the Louisville Slugger Company ran into a real serious problem. They uh, one of their storage places burned down where they had tons of wood that was in there laying there aging. They would let the wood age for several years before turning it into a baseball bat. And if you've worked with lumber, you know that some lumber is kiln dried. It's put into a large oven to dry it so that it's ready for use for building projects. But some lumber is not kiln dried. Really good lumber is just merely aged and it just dries over a long period of time. And boy, you pay some bucks for that stuff. So again, aging and maturing. And even in the human being, uh, we talk about reaching maturity or reaching different levels of maturity. Um, reaching adolescence, then young adulthood, then uh, middle age, and then, of course, senior adulthood. Never mind. Um, it's the idea of age. And we're supposed to, as we age, grow in wisdom. 
knowledge is easy. You can go to school to get that, but wisdom takes time to develop. And it comes through life experiences, often over many years. So again, wisdom is a matter of maturing. And while uh, wisdom may be an absolute thing among the gods, among people, it's something we have to grow into. You don't become wise when you're 20 years old. I saw an interesting saying, um, in order to become old and wise, you first have to be young and stupid. And <laughs> you know, there's a lot of truth to that. So think of the air rune as a maturing and an aging rune. Aging is for a specific result. Aging to make it more palatable, to make it a finished product, to make it a useful product. And it just takes time. There's nothing else you can do. Just sit back and let it take its time. Time is the factor that makes the change. And it's uh, one of the things that many people today have a problem with. Many people are so impatient because they're used to instant gratification that they don't know that patience and some things take time and that nothing you do can hasten them. Sometimes you just have to hand it off. I remember some people uh, used to say, let go and let the gods. It's time that you can do no more. Let it rest. Let it work in other hands, whether it's in the hands of fermentation or maturing or um, drying or in the hands of a higher power. Again, this is an interesting take of the year rune. It's just a very small aspect, not even a separate aspect so much, but an intriguing part of the activity of the year rune. I'm sure you can find your own examples if you work at it and develop your own consciousness of this rune. Not just an intellectual consciousness, but you want to have an internalized consciousness in the heart and in the gut. You want your intuition and your emotions to perceive as much as your intellect does. And that takes effort, but it's worth it. This is Uncle Thor. Have a good one.